This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. midnight tonight and let me see here oh let me just go to me there we go here I am there we go mm-hmm. uh, I uh, uh, gee you know we had that op- opening was different you know because we changed the time but I think it was too loud and it wasn't too loud when I put it together geez what is this all about Hold on a second. Let me just play this again. Let's see if it's too loud. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Okay, well, uh, it's not loud. It's just a little tinnier than it was. Okay, well, you know, everything, nothing works right. Nothing works right. Uh, I've been I've been working my ass off here trying to get things to like you know work and so on and I've had a problem for the last well, I'll, well, well let me bring on uh, let me bring on our Zoom pal okay oh it just froze oh that's wonderful hold on a second folks oh, I just give up I give up I give up I give up I give up. It's time for me to just call this t- whole thing a qu- uh, quits. Okay, there we go. There we are. Okay, all right. Mm. Oh, and then I gotta, I gotta do something about uh, my filters here so that uh, I the chroma key works better. You know, I mean, this is just nothing ever gets easier for me. It never gets better. All right, there we go. Okay. Uh, you know what the problem is? Uh, we have um no well I I'll let me get Phil on here and then I'll tell you what the what the problem is and and the reason why I may not be doing a show for a couple of weeks but uh, we'll we'll get to that in a second. Let me see here. I got to go to Phil uh, and uh, I have to do that by bringing him in. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, hey there, Phil. How are you, Phil? Uh, are you are you hey. are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, you're there. All right. Would oh, you uh, have some problems getting on? Oh, you have no idea what the problems have been. You know. Yeah. It's just been terrible. Just been terrible. Um, all of this because you switched out one one piece of equipment and it had a the new the old equipment had to catch up with it. With the old I program. have no idea what the problem is. I have no idea what the problem is, but you see, that shouldn't have frozen just yeah. now, and it did. I mean, I know how to fix it. Does a picture on me look okay? Yeah, yeah. It's not the old cameras. It's the cheapest camera I have. What, uh, something happened to your camera? No, nothing happened. Just they all started freezing up. Oh. Uh, maybe they're, uh, uh, they, uh, they're Logitech's. I know that uh, when I switched to a newer uh, system for the uh, uh, for the Mac Pro, uh, the Logitech camera stopped working, hmm. and um, uh, I guess it, it worked on you know I don't know what we're on now Monterey is it or yeah that one? yeah well I I've, I've just been Catalina I've, yeah I've just been having trouble. It's just been been one problem after another, and I thought I had finally solved it here, but somehow, you know, it decided to freeze. I mean, I can go back to my old uh, uh, video, um, you know. I mean, but it it it's just it's just insane, and it's been driving yeah. me nuts for the last three or four days. I I think it happened last week when the computer crashed. And then when it came yeah. back, the the video wasn't working well on Zoom. And let me uh, ask you something: uh, Are you going out on uh, on YouTube? I believe so. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alan says not on GabNet, and I don't see it on YouTube. Stop streaming. Well, hold on a second. Um, I think I am. Uh, let me see here. Let me see. Uh, some guy says he's got audio. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I'm not going out on. I'm not going out on the video. Yeah. Isn't uh, that strange? Oh God, nothing works right. You know. Yeah. I mean, well, I just, I just, I just had a what? Well, I know it's being recorded, but I mean, this should be going out, and mm -hmm. it's not. You know. Yeah. Uh, somebody, uh, Alan said it wasn't going out on the website either. Well, it, of course, Alan, it wouldn't go out on the website because it picks it up from YouTube. Oh well, I had no idea, and oh, neither, probably neither did Alan. Oh, God, I don't know. I give up. Well, there it is. There yeah. it is. It just, it just, I think it just kicked in. Huh. Let me see here. No. Let me see here. If I go there. Hmm. I have no idea what it is. Yeah. I have it, no idea it what it says, is. It uh, says, uh, waiting for GabNet on the YouTube thing. Uh, oh, well. Charlie says there's no Zoom link. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me see here. Let me go here. Take your time. Take a deep breath. No, you know. I'm through with this. I'm th really through with this. This is it. You know, I've just, enough is enough wanna, already. You want to just do it on Facebook? No, I'm not going to do it on Facebook, and I don't have to, I can't do it on Facebook right now. Mm. Let me see here. Hold on a second. Okay. No, well, that isn't there. What? What is it? Please, you can try to find out. Oh, I see what maybe the problem is, but I have no idea what it is. I have no idea what it is. Uh, this is upcoming, and it's um, it says upcoming, and but it's not going. That's strange. That's strange. I give up. I give up on it. I just, you know, this is this is it for me. Um, you want to go back to the old computer? Not now. I can't do it right I, now. I know, but, you know. Let me see. Please use a key frame frequency or four seconds, at least currently in free frames. What's this? What is this? The, there is a signal going, a, being created, uh, and uh, it's just... Uh, 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 hold on a second. It, I'm, stre I'm, I'm, I'm streaming. On. I'm streaming, and it says message is poor. Stream status is poor. Go live. Close. Going live. Okay, you're live. It says now. Yeah. Are we live? Uh, I don't think so. But uh, let me check with somebody. Uh, uh, no, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I, I'm sending a, a message to your chat people. I don't know. Uh, I, it says working on it. Let me see here. There we go. We're live now. All right. I have no idea why we weren't live before, but yeah, we're I, live I now. Uh, yeah. Yes, we are. There mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. There was something I did. I don't know what I did. This is it. This is the last show I do tonight. This is it. For me. The last show tonight? Yeah. This is no. I mean, tonight is going to be the last show I do. This is it. Really, I'm through. I'm through. I can't take it anymore. Yeah, you know, it's one thing after another, and it's all technical stuff, and I'm just not able to cope with it any longer, and it's affecting my health, and I don't need yeah. this. Okay, it's not well, worth it for the you know for the couple of hundred people who watch this every night. It's just not worth it for me to do. You know, why don't you go to one day a week? You know, no, Monday is one Friday. day a week. How? You know, it's still gonna fuck up on me. Yeah, but you got all week to test it out. I'll help you test it. Yeah, this is you know, this is ridiculous. You know. Well, anyway, I thought I'd solve my problem. What happened was is mm -hmm. here when I would use Zoom and then I would also use OBS at the same time, mm -hmm. they would freeze up. Or if I just used uh, my uh, brios on my uh, on Zoom, it would go crazy. It would just do all kinds of things. And I bought two more cameras and sent them back, of course. Yeah. But they weren't working. Okay. 
and they were freezing up and they were getting glitches and everything. And then I go over to Zoom. Here, here's how these companies run these days. And if you go over, you'll see this. Yeah. Go to Zoom, go to download, okay? Just go to download. Yeah. Download. Well, I, I don't want to do yeah. it on the no, thing now. No, but you know, you've got, you've got time. Just yeah. go over okay. there. It says Zoom desktop client. Right. Uh, I'll do it on the phone, maybe. No, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, you just go up there to Zoom. Go to Zoom, zoom.com. Yeah. And, uh, and then, it's gonna, West or then it's going to have an area up there where it says downloads or something. Check for updates? Uh, check for updates, yeah. You could do that. Or you can look at... Uh, As I'm up to date. Yeah, okay. Well, then look at uh, downloads. I don't know that I got a download. Well, I'll read you what it says. It says download okay. download version 5.11.8356. Do you see that? Okay. Uh, well, I, no. I got rid of it, no, but okay. yeah, I, I saw and, it. And right below it, it says in very tiny letters, or for Macs with Apple silicone chips, click here to download. Ah, uh, so there's a different download for Zoom. That no, for, for your Zoom. new for your new yes. Uh, deal. Yes. Now we, I still froze up, so I have no idea what that was all about. So yeah. Well, I uh, up, you know, my uh, my buddy, uh, I got a pimple or something. Uh, my buddy uh, is trying to get rid of his uh, master uh, Mac Pro, the the cheese new cheese grater. Yeah, you don't want it. No, he he said eight grand. And, uh, yeah. you know, then, you know, I, I think he spent, I don't know, 20. Uh, so, you know, it, but as far as I'm. Why is he getting rid of it is the question. Because he's probably getting the M2, you know. Uh, the you know, M2 the, the, hasn't the, even been announced yet. No, I know. Uh, but, uh, you know, he's he's probably getting something else that's uh, I've even heard more. No, I've heard no many, so many people have yeah. buyer's remorse about buying that machine. That, oh, the cheese grater? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe he has it too. Yeah. And that's I, not the cheese grater. That's the faux cheese grater. <laughs> oh, okay. It's the new one. The, the original no. cheese grater. The original cheese grater, they called it a cheese grater, folks, because it looked like you could grate cheese on it. Okay. Yeah. And I used that for the longest time here till I put in the, uh, the, uh, the, gar uh, the uh, trash can. Yeah. They all have their name. The latest one they haven't given a name to. I'm giving well, it a name of piece of shit. But anyway. You know, your original uh, cheese grater, that is a that, magnificent design. Um, unbelievable machine. Uh, yeah. The only thing is, is that Apple are assholes. Major clusterfuck assholes. And yeah, you can't it, it, update the system. They, I did upgrade that one. See, they they made it so you couldn't use. Uh, I think it was Mojave, unless yeah. you had a machine that had was metal or something like that. I don't know what it's called, but you could do it by upgrading the um, uh, the the graphics board. So I upgraded the graphics board, but they made sure you couldn't upgrade to the next one. Ah, uh, okay. They figured you, you out. You know, rather than say, "Hey, you know, those people who got the cheese graters. That's a great little machine. Let's just keep supplying them with a, a version, at least, of of Mac that they can use." Yeah. Because I used that one forever. The beginnings of of uh, uh, our uh, what do I, is my name? What is my? You know, I got the same thing right right here. No, no, my lip. Look. Yeah. Oh. How red is it? Uh, it's red. Shouldn't be. What did you eat? Nothing. No? Nothing. No. Anyway. Uh, well, anyway, uh, my point is that yeah. they, they, they keep screwing you over. You know, and uh, you, uh, the people who buy Macs are like a bunch of people who really care. You yeah. Know? They really <laughs> care. And yeah. uh, th that's the trouble with this new, this other old, this old camera. It makes my lips look really oh. red. Hmm. It looks less red now. Looks okay. It's uh, it's it's very um, uh, theatrical. How's oh, that? Theatrical. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, what was it? What was I saying? We were talking about the Mac and the cheese grater, and that they uh, they mm -hmm. screw you. They don't update the things. You updated your graphics board, and then uh, 
Yeah, uh, but I mean, they, 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 you know, rather than say, hey, let's let it, let's not make these people feel they've got something they can't use anymore. Let's yeah. uh, let's work on it and get it a little better now, you know, and let well, them let them keep using their machines. They paid good money for them, you know. You would think that a company that at one point in the last couple of years had the highest value of any company in the world. They were the first one trillion dollar company. But it wasn't that, for their computers. No, what was it for? Uh, 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 phones? The iPhone, the iPads. That was it, yeah. you know. That was the main worth of their company. Uh, they didn't. They didn't make much money. They don't make much money off of the uh, off the computers. Computers. No. Well, I read uh, uh, one guy said he bought the new Mac Air with the M1 chip, mm-hmm. and he said it's the absolute best computer he's ever had. He can't run the battery down. Uh, and uh, well, I just got one of these little mini Macs with the M1 in it, and it's it, it probably if I put it in here, it would work better than this thing is working. And and you're using the studio, right? I'm using the studio. Yeah, yeah. All right. You know, well, I mean, the studio's great. I'll tell you, for editing and for uh, for for uh, uh, every day at the end of the show, I have to convert the show from one file to another file, and that conversion used to take about 15 minutes. Now it takes like seven, six. Yeah, you know, so it's, it's a very fast machine, but I'm having troubles with doing this. Now, you see, right now, we're fine. I'm using the cheapest camera I own here. Yeah, I've got four of these these $150 Brios, you know. Uh, well, I, I bought one of those Brios on your recommendation, and it seems to be working fine. Yeah, but you don't use it for heavy lifting like I do. No. You no. know, I'm not trying to get it to feed too different. Anyway. People don't care about how. All right. How, hey, new topic. Yeah, wait a minute. Uh, well, I'm not yeah. finished yet. Well, okay. <laughs> but people don't want to know how the sausage is made. They just want to eat it. So yeah. enough of me telling how the sausage is made. But there again, Zoom. Or, and I almost I had to put my glasses on to read it. For yeah. Max with Apple Silicon chips, click here to download interesting and then the thing still freezes up on me so i don't know i give up yeah, yeah. and you got plenty of memory plenty, plenty of ram and and, and all of that oh, stuff. Have I, yeah i got i got extra ram and i got extra this and extra that and i got uh, you know well, well you yeah. know there there may need to be a firmware update for the machine that uh no is, i don't think so because it was running well, fine they may need one now with all those other accessories. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, other than machines, mm-hmm. I got Hulu. My friend Greg, uh, who is also my rolfer, he's a great guy. Uh, he said, um, "Did you watch The Old Man with Jeff Bridges?" Mm-hmm. And I said, "No, nah, I don't. I don't have Hulu." Well, I got. I took the trial on Hulu just to see it. And I binged uh, as many, I think there's four or five episodes. Yeah. Have you seen that one? Yeah. Did you like it? It's okay. Yeah. It's not great. Uh, there was one other series that I watched that I enjoyed. It was called The Bear. <laughs> it, it was, uh, this guy has got, uh, was a five star, was a Michelin starred uh, chef mm-hmm. and uh, worked in, uh, he was the head of, house in in the best restaurant in the country and Mm -hmm. his brother commits suicide and he ends up with his brother's sandwich shop in philadelphia Mm -hmm. and he starts running it like a a french uh uh, a french kitchen and uh it was a very i enjoyed it uh it's the same guy that was in that um show shameless Mm -hmm. uh he he played the the son who uh uh i guess you know would get Mm -hmm. in trouble and had an alcoholism problem and yeah but, yeah so anyway. yeah well i i enjoyed i enjoyed that one yeah yeah and, and, and uh let me see here have, have i been watching anything i'm just trying to fix something while i'm talking yeah to you. take your time um but uh you know i i don't understand any of it i don't understand how i make any of it work and, uh, well, I think it's amazing what you have been able to create because there are television studios, Fox News, for instance, mm-hmm. can't uh, do it as as well and give as high a quality program as what you're doing. Oh, you really? Know? Oh, okay. Yeah. 
you know, their their program is more like your Monday, where uh, you just have the boxes, and you know, maybe they're able to control it a little bit and put yeah. three long boxes next to each other. But uh, you remember the way you used to uh, arrange the screen, uh, yeah. where yeah. you shaped the size of the box. Yep, I think that's what they're doing. Uh, yeah, they're kind of doing that. But it's, they're not. They're not. They're, I don't know how they do it. They, they do it with Zoom, however. Yeah. And I think there's some program that Zoom has out for these special people, you know. That, oh, they're special. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so anyway, that, that, that's that's uh, that's my problems here, and I just you know I'm so tired of it. I just, I mean I may not do a show for the next rest of the week just simply because I I am so exhausted from. And, how are you and feeling? It, my, huh? How are you feeling? Terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Not from the computer stuff, just in, in I general. I mean, terrible because this has been exhausting me. Yeah. You know. Well, what about the COVID, uh, the remnants of COVID? Uh, Marjorie seems to be getting better. I feel better somewhat, you know, but uh -huh. I'm just so exhausted from this. This has just so dispirited me. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm tired of having to put out one technological fire after another. I just want to do a show. Yeah. You know, and, and the only good thing about the Monday show is I do it on another machine and uh -huh. I go directly to Facebook, you know, from Zoom and I don't have to do anything. There's no technology involved. So why can't you just do that for a while and take a break from all of this BS? Well, could be, you know, I don't know, but yeah, uh, but like tonight already, we had several problems, you yeah. know, one of which was I had to re reset YouTube the other day, and I thought I reset it right, but apparently I didn't. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. all of this stuff is is definitely above my pay grade, you know, uh, oh, if, well, if it, I had to do it, I'd have to hire somebody. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just like, it's one technological thing after another. And I, you know, maybe something wrong with the uh, with the new uh, the new computer, but I don't think so. Something no. went wrong, which made it freeze up the other night. But I think it had something to do with some software in the system, or it could be, you know, it, it, sometimes it can be something as easy as you've got uh, something plugged into a USB port into your USB that just is throwing everything else off. So you then yeah. have to unplug all the USBs and put them back in one at a time. One at a time, try to figure out which one it and is. And if I'm going to do that, I need to take a couple of days off in order to get this whole thing working again. Is is yeah. there a way that uh, they can troubleshoot it at Apple, you know, just to go no. through it? And... Well, no. I mean, I, I can take it down to them, tell them what the problem is. They can do a little, little uh, diagnostic Check. on it, but they, they, they won't know, you know. So, I mean, uh, I may call Apple tomorrow and say, what do you think? Yeah, that's, you know. that's what I would suggest. Because, I mean, everything else in this computer is working perfectly, except it just doesn't seem to like OBS working with Zoom. Yeah. Well, and so if that's, if that's the issue, mm -hmm. uh, have you contacted, uh, uh, could you contact OBS? I know that's an open source <laughs> software, but... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just wondering if you can contact them or if there's a, a online group of other people that have OBS and are using it with this new machine. Well, um, I, no, I mean, I, I've looked online and nobody seems to be having this problem. Um, you know, I mean, it could be something that just happened because, I mean, I, I now have the right um, Zoom software in here. Yeah. You think OBS is corrupted? No, I don't think so. All right. Sometimes so. you get a corrupted file. and No, uh, because it, 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 OBS wasn't a problem for a while. You, you know? copied the stuff from the old computer to the new computer. And sometimes, if, you know, I, I would assume that sometimes you can end up not getting a file that you need that just didn't come over. No, I didn't copy it. We did it from a backup. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you, there's some sort of special way to be able to transfer everything you had in the other computer into this computer. Uh, yes and no. 
Yeah. Uh, it was a matter of you take a, people know this, you take your backup and you tell it that uh, I want I want to make a copy of the backup. I want to ba it, turn it to the backup copy and then it just uh, reinstalls the machine almost exactly the way it was when you is, left the other is one. Is that the way we do an iPhone when you get a new iPhone? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If, Cloud. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. well, so, you know, yeah. Technology. Yes, I was uh, talking to somebody today, and I was uh, telling them that my first uh, my first computer at my store was a two eighty six mm -hmm. uh, Epson, and I used to have mm -hmm. two five and a quarter floppy disks. I put uh, one disk in, and uh, that had the program, and the other disk had the data. And I would then back it up, and mm -hmm. I would give it to my CPA, mm -hmm. and he would do my books every month. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it was just two five-and-a-quarter floppy disks. Yeah. It was easy, yeah. and it always worked. That's what you do. That's what you yeah. do, you know. So, anyway. And then uh, Charles Bolello. You, you remember Charles. He owned the stuffed bagel. Yeah. Uh, he, he got me Lantastic, which was a uh, system that allowed me to uh, to print, to uh, have two different computers print to the same printer, so it was like a it was like a, a LAN, but it, it, and so he he was just enamored with that, and he says, well, let me I install can print, it. On I can print computer. from any of my computers to a not nineteen eighty whatever it was, yeah, uh, eighty seven. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that so red? You know. I, Anyway, uh, you gotta stop sucking the blood of uh, young women. So what? Uh, what? Uh, what? What? You had something you want to talk about or something? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm noticing that uh, some of these incidents. You know, we, we've had a number of uh, shooting incidents. We had the July Fourth uh, thing in uh, Illinois, well, and there are about uh, three of them over the Fourth of July. Yeah, and you know, there were so many red flags, so many things that uh, were done that uh, to circumvent uh, uh, having this kid put in a position where he couldn't buy a gun. Uh, then, then, of course, the, uh, there is a revelation uh, about the Uvalde shooting that a cop uh, wanted to shoot the shooter before he entered the school, and uh, he asked permission, and nobody got back to him. But now they're saying... Well, where did you he hear that? Because I never heard that one. Heard it on the news. No, which news? Uh, it was uh, a YouTube. It was a local Texas station uh, that... Um, it was like Channel 32. Wouldn't you think that if that were true, it would be all over the place? Uh, it just, just came out. Oh, really? But, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, guess, I, I guess I must be missing the news. Well, you're missing... You missed that. That's uh, well. I watched a lot of news today, and I didn't see it. No, I did. You know. Uh, well, I, you, you managed know, I, to see stuff. You know. All I'm saying is, have we not had enough of guns? Okay. Period. End of. End. Well, no more argument here, Phil. Have we not had enough of okay. guns? Okay. The 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 shooter uh, who no, who dressed don't, up like a no, woman don't uh, give me, on July Fourth. Give me this. Who cares? It, it turns who out. Who gives a shit? Okay. I well, mean, really, I'm saying that the proof is the the proof is in the story of what's going on. There are too many goddamn mass shootings. Yes, there are, and uh, you know this uh, this kid had mental problems. And what's the similarity between all those mass shootings? Uh, the young uh, mm -hmm. there was one, uh, yeah. people mm -hmm. that uh, mm -hmm. that are that mm -hmm. have. Issues with mm -hmm. society. Mm -hmm. Is there one other thing that they have in common? Uh, no, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, they do. A gun. <laughs> I know you were going to say that. <laughs> I just set you up for it. Uh, no, I'm just sick you know, of it, Phil. I'm just absolutely sick yeah. of it. You know? Well, uh, you know, it's it's unfortunate that our society has uh, has gotten to this. When I was a kid. You didn't have all of these mass shootings, uh, uh -huh. you did, you, and and guns were just as prevalent, if not more so, mm -hmm. than uh, you know you could order one out of a Sears catalog, and at a, as a twelve year old you could order a gun and and have it come to your home, and there were no mass shootings. What what else has changed that has uh, ca allowed this? To well, happen? to begin with, all of these uh, were done with assault rifles. 
Uh, yeah, well, that's the big change, Phil. No, no pepper rifles, only salt rifles. So, not, not funny, <laughs> Phil. We're trying to discuss this seriously. All right. Well, uh, you know, uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, these um, carbines are are very good for uh, shooting a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, now, but it's not the law-abiding citizen that should have to do without it's the uh you know it's these mental cases that aren't being uh the system is failing i believe that the system is breaking down and and uh we're not uh reporting these things as we need to mm -hmm. well uh alan's on the phone mm -hmm. and brian's got his hand up and bill i don't care how much money you put to mental illness that's not going to solve this issue and by the way, know? by the way, this this whole thing they passed in Congress that they're patting themselves on the back for, is like it, it's it's like rubbing salve on a big deep cut. You know? I, I agree. I agree with Brian, uh, because the 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 July Fourth shooter, uh, uh, I forgot what his name, but the July Fourth shooter in 2019, uh, mental health people visited his home because mm -hmm. of the threats mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. maybe that's mm -hmm. where it fell through the cracks you, you know, know something they don't want to fell through the cracks phil the only thing that's fallen through the cracks is some meaningful bill to ban guns all right mental illness i tell you all the time the guy talking to the guardrail i see every day there's no mental illness is going to touch that guy. There's no, there's not one penny of this millions of dollars or whatever it is of mental illness money is going to go to the people that are shooting all the, shooting all these places up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there she is. Oh, look what we got here. There's the poster child for cute. <laughs> Hold on. She has a secret to tell me. Hold on. Okay. Secret. What? Say it in the microphone. <laughs> She wants to be the poster child for Gabnet. She's the poster <laughs> child for cute. <clears throat> yep. Okay. She's she's on her way out now. She has other things to do. We're not too important to her anymore. Here she comes again. Oh, uh, you're <laughs> getting bombed. Hey, get out. Close door. What is that? Another TikTok move? <laughs> yes, of course. You know, the first half of the show was nice. We didn't have to listen to Phil. <laughs> Mm. Mm. I didn't say anything terrible. We sat there and talked about computers. Yeah. Talked about helping Alex out. You weren't much help. But that's okay. Right. Yeah. At well, least you somebody tried. Need somebody to bounce it off. <clears throat> yeah. So. Alex, didn't all these problems uh, start a couple weeks ago when you got the new computer? Well, no, not really. They didn't start until a few weeks after I got the new computer. Oh. Okay. Um, but they're uh, they're uh, you know they're we're we're we got uh, little problems here. Hold on a second, I'm trying to. Where are, oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. Um, oh, hello, Jeff. He's got some audio on. Oh yeah, Jeff's got to turn down the audio. Oh, he, he turned it way down. He always he always uh, uh, <laughs> he always does that just gets rid of it yeah. you know what he doesn't realize is that when he's got the browser on that gabnet is on the browser and you have to delete gabnet from the browser after you use the zoom link well just don't watch us to begin with <laughs> yeah i just want to tell you how exciting the first half hour was obs and obi-wan kenobi and everything you're talking about right. yeah riveting well, well you know, I'm, I'm fed up. I'm about. This is about it for me. I may not do shows for the rest of the week. You know, I've got to get the either get this the problem solved. Although I do have it kind of solved here. I'm using the cheap camera. Does anybody notice I'm using the cheap camera? No, you look good. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you know, maybe I just spent too much money on cameras that aren't usable. You know, so. Oh, what's we'll Charlie see. got going on there? I don't know, Charlie. What's going on there? It's like the AT and T guy or something. Yeah, look, or looks the cable. Like, yeah, it looks like the cable installer. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. I yeah. thought Charlie was just using the the 
toilet, but <laughs> he may, no, I mean he's got some guy who's in there. He's he's definitely that guy is definitely a guy with uh, r- wires and uh, equipment yeah. like that. And I don't in, think in everybody's happy. Uh, you know the, the the way the hand is going down like this. Oh uh, really? Oh okay. yeah. Pushing yeah, his head down. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't look. Uh, it didn't look like. So what was, was that all about, Charlie? <laughs> I had a leak over the ba- a bathtub. Water was dripping down the ceiling. Was bowing in, and I mean, so I called maintenance, and that was like an hour and a half ago. <laughs> So he finally showed up. And now the entire ceiling is in, on the floor. Well, no, it's, it, it actually isn't leaking right now. Oh. So whatever was leaking, it was a temporary thing. So he thinks the bathtub, guy was taking a shower or bath, and, and while the water was running, that's when it was leaking, and now the tub's empty. Yeah. Okay. The guy above you was probably a Republican crime. What kind of guy takes a shower or bath that's overflowing the tub? It wasn't overflowing the tub because it's leaking into my bathtub. He I said, know it was overflowing. Oh, oh, it was leaking into your bathtub. Yeah. Well, so it, was it wasn't good. getting the floor or anything wet, but it, 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 the ceiling looked like it was going to fall down. Yeah. You know, so well, that, that's, I'm, that's I'm good probably, because the water was going in the bathtub. So that you know, but it's probably from like, the, it's probably from the like bathtub upstairs. A, sounds like there's a crack or a leak in the drain. But that's what he leak. said. That's what the guy that was just here. <clears throat> So he's not even going to worry about it until tomorrow. No. So is the guy upstairs going to want to borrow your shower? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Brian had his hand up and his mouth full. Yes, never Brian. Mind. Never mind. What do you mean? What do you mean, never mind? What? What is that, by the way? It's just some uh, some some vegetables. Oh, vegetables? And Charlie, what time is it there now? 10? Is it 10 o'clock? Here, 10 o'clock, yeah. They're just getting to you now. Well, this was kind of an emergency. You didn't see it an hour and a half ago when it was really coming down. Hmm. (laughs) The guy didn't look too happy. No, because, you know, we had that big freeze in 2021, and they had to replace all the plumbing in this building. We had no water for eight days. Uh, And, you know, he was afraid that it had something, something didn't get done right when they did all that. Mm -hmm. So. Oh well, yeah. Fun and games. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, we were talking about the whole shootings over the weekend. Uh, the Fourth Fourth of July fireworks that weren't intended. You know. Yeah. Um, uh, terrible. Just terrible. I, and I just don't know when we are aren't in this country going to say enough is enough you know we let you play with your guns you didn't do it responsibly now we're taking them away from you well why don't you just go to new zealand where you can have it your way what do you mean have it my way well they don't have any guns there there's nothing wrong with new zealand all right well you know you might uh you know let the door don't let the door hit you in the ass go over to listen listen if i was if i was 10, 15 years younger, I'd be out of this country so fast you wouldn't even see my shadow. This country is a piece of shit. It yeah. really is. You it know, is if you're going to go on vacation, huh? why don't you go to a place that uh, you know doesn't have any rights and, you know... But but that doesn't have, have any rights? Place you New, like. Wait a minute, New Zealand doesn't have rights? No, they take... There's no gun rights there. They made everybody... Oh, oh their- so that means that they don't have any rights in New Zealand. Well, they don't have those rights. They take freedom very seriously in New Zealand. They also don't have mass shootings like this. I'm tired of living in a country where the word freedom is not an absolute. It is just a lie. Isn't Christchurch in New Zealand? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> And didn't they have a big school they shooting there like 10 years ago? Right, that's, they did. that's why they took the guns away. And they haven't right. had one since. Yeah, that's, that's why they took the guns away, Alan. Well, they ought to do it here too then. Yeah, that's why they haven't had a single fucking oh, no. show. I think, I, look, I think it's time. It's time because, you know, if you kids can't play with your guns correctly, then we have to take them away. That's Alex, it. Highland Park, Morton Grove, uh, New York City have some of the most restrictive gun laws of any not place. Not anymore in New York. Including Washington, D.C. Not anymore in New York. Well, that, that's only the last week. 
But for watch the last what hundred happens. years, the watch, last watch, hundred. Watch what happens. All right, the last Bill. hundred years they have, and what did that do for you? Uh, it, I think, prevented a lot of problems. Uh, I think the reason we have what problems we have is because we're the most congested city in America. That's going to bring about some bad mental illness, you know? You didn't have that under Giuliani. Under Giuliani, crime went down. Under Giuliani, uh, you know, the stop and frisk and things like that, uh, mm -hmm. you, didn't, you didn't have the murder rate that you have today. Oh, God bless Giuliani. Yes. Did you, did you hear the news, Alex? My brother told me the mayor, one of the mayor's workers got mugged in the city in broad daylight. <laughs> I was laughing. Yeah. I'm and the sorry. Said we I, I had, I had a delivery to today. I had a delivery today <laughs> what, from what from Amazon, yeah. and I went downstairs to meet the woman, and she was like really at her wit's end. And I said, "What's what's wrong?" She says, "Just a couple of minutes ago, I was delivering to this the projects, and uh, I come back, and somebody has stolen all my packages." Wow. And then I, I chased the guy down the street and he threw them out and they're all scattered all over the street and some of them were ripped open and so on. I went, welcome to New York. That's the way they always deliver the packages to my house. That's our new that's our new mayor. They call yeah. them porch pirates, Alex. They, they do that. They no, this walk. wasn't porch pirates. Not when they this, oh, they just took it from the truck. From the they, truck. They, they took oh, they're not even letting you deliver. Not the they're truck, but they have these, these, these uh, big bins they roll around oh, the street. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see right? when they open the thing. They spring open. Right? They stole um, one of them. Bin pirates is what they call them, Tony. <laughs> Poor thing doesn't listen. I got something coming. <laughs> mm. Oh, boy. You know. But I mean, it's just uh, it, I, I, I'm fed up with this country. I mean, it's just it's it's uh, uh, if if as I say, if I were younger, I think I would Marjorie and I would leave here. We would go somewhere else. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the we, fact we, that we might go to England, you know, because it's going to be clear there soon because Boris Johnson doesn't look like he's going to have a job oh, much longer. I, I, I read and I and I watch these. YouTube no, you don't on, read. On don't Americans, lie to us about wait reading. A minute, on Americans that retire abroad. And, you know, what areas can you retire? Uh, mm -hmm. And one place that is uh, being touted right now is Portugal. Another one is Ecuador. And uh, Costa Rica, yeah. Uh, Costa Rica, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, and Dominican Republic. Well, you know, and, and I'm, you know, I'm saying to myself, well, you know, if I ever got to the point where I couldn't bend down anymore to do what it is that I do, maybe that's what I would do. Ecuador. You you you'd be good in jail if you get you as long as you can bend over. Yeah, well, it, I feel like it's what my father used to say to me when I said I'm going to L.A. tomorrow, and he would say to me, why can't you leave tonight? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you, know, you, you look at some, and, and people are mm -hmm. actually, there's, uh, is it a million people have gone from the uh, United States to Mexico to retire? And, um, you know, that, but there's plenty of open apartments now because uh, several million are coming to the United States from Mexico. So it's, it's a fair exchange, like a student exchange. Mm -hmm. You're coming over the wall, come in. Well, You're coming well, over the wall, yeah. in. Tony's had problems with porch pilots, uh, pirates. Uh, you porch. Know. Well, they stole my ice machine maker, but then they ripped the box open and they left it across the street. My neighbor gave it to me, so they didn't want it. So, you know, you buy shit that nobody wants. Well, it was, a, it, was a, it was a part for the refrigerator. So I guess when they ripped it open, yeah. they left it across the street. And the guy says, I think this is yours. They had my address. And he was in the box. So they, I It was it probably back. him that took it. <laughs> and he saw all the guys. I was like, I don't believe this. I had to put a sign on the door. Please, UPS, don't leave anything in the front. So they got to come back. Oh, boy. Well, you know, I mean, it, it, it's just... It, it, it's a mess, and, and the fact that we can't uh, deal with this whole gun thing, and we can't, you know, uh, God damn those framers of our Constitution. They should, I think we well, are no, dealing with What they with did the is they did a crappy job of writing that amendment because it's so it's so. It it's got regulation right there in the amendment. Huh? You know, there's been amendments that have been put into the Constitution and taken out, like prohibition. Well, that's the uh, only, that's the only one. Right. That's so, the only one, Phil. Yeah, and it wasn't, okay. and wait a minute, 
the amendment wasn't done away with. Another amendment was they, made they to nullify it. it. Yeah. Yeah. But they're both still there. Yeah. So if you feel and and enough people feel that uh, we shouldn't have a second amendment, uh, it can be changed. And we start with no automatic rifles. Well, pretty much there's a lot of restrictions on automatic rifles. Yeah, not enough. That, uh, apparently not, not enough. Exactly. Well, I, did the kid have an automatic oh, rifle? Yes. I'm not asking about the kid. I'm asking, can we start there? I don't want, you know, I don't want to start with anything. <clears throat> but do you agree? We could, do, you, do you agree that we could start there? Yeah. Yeah, probably. We don't need automatic weapons. We don't need to be able to have dynamite without and, knowing and Phil, that, it that's the whole thing. You, you keep talking about the amendment and all this stuff. <clears throat> I'm not asking for the guns to be gone. I know Alex is saying that, but we're not asking for the guns to be gone. We're asking to start. We're asking to start the conversation, to start taking some of these highly automatic weapons that do not need to be in the hands of any civilian. That's what we're start. We're asking to start Alan, with. Alan, uh, ask Alan. Alan, are any of those things really in the hands of civilians without special permits? Oh. Uh, fully automatic yeah, but you, weapons? You, you know, but I see, I differ from Phil about this. I think AR-15s ought to be in the hands of the military and the police, period. Civilians okay. have no use for well. They have a use well. For tell me what the recreational purpose is yeah, for an AR. It doesn't AR have to be a recreational purpose. Judy, yes, sir. Judy yes, sir. You, you, you know something? I could argue with you that when the when the first the Second Amendment was written, there was no such thing as an automatic weapon. In you know fact, why? there was no such thing as a weapon that you didn't have to muzzle load. Yeah. It, the, you know? the the guns that were in general use at the time of the revolution were the guns that the public could have and all through time since since but the, the but if you're going to say that you go by the amendment uh, when it was written and in the spirit with which it was written and the fact was these you know guns handguns didn't really exist you you had to load them and you had to put the ball in and you had to do the whole thing with the gun powder from the horn and the whole deal yeah but you know but it was if, the they, same. if all of a sudden they knew say oh you know in the future they're going to have automatic weapons well we better put a little something in the there to same, take care of this alex it's the same level of weapon that's used by the police and the military and that's phil, what the situation phil, the argument the argument that uh, these assholes on the supreme court used was well, back in 1833, so and so, blah blah blah. Well, if you want to go back and say what did the framers of our Constitution originally intend by that amendment, it wasn't for people to have unlimited access to automatic weapons. They intended to make sure that people feel the way you do couldn't take the weapons away from law-abiding citizens. Law-abiding citizens. Law. Who's a law-abiding citizen? Today's law-abiding today's law-abiding citizen is tomorrow's crazy who goes to a mall and shoots people. Well, maybe Alan. You know, and yeah, I was Tony. just thinking maybe Phil, but yeah, you know, I, I'm getting worried about Tony. He's starting to go, you know, pretty red. Next thing you're going to see, he's going to have an AR-15 uh, or an M16, uh, an M4. Not in New York. Huh? He doesn't have anything. Well, nah, he'll New go to New York. Jersey and get it. Or, or no, but, I mean, come on, you know, they keep saying, well, how was it intended when they wrote it? Well, what it was intended was they didn't even imagine that these kind of weapons would exist. You know, if the Constitution changed a little bit, they took all these AR-15s away from civilians, there would be less out there to shoot people with. You know, the AR-15 is the easy, easiest uh, gun to build because uh, you could buy parts uh to to build it uh, the receiver the barrel all of those things and with a few hours you can assemble it from start to finish yeah but you know what's all good? the more reason to take them away from citizens exactly. really? they're making the better case they're in yeah, common the use more. they're in common use and and that's what you know the police don't have ar-15s they have m-16s and m-4s and uh they have fully automatic weapons uh, an AR-15 is not. It's the same weapon with a different trigger system. Yeah, it's just 
It's just a scary looking gun. If we simply want to hunt deer how with bad, pen. how bad off would we be? You're not going to hunt deer. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. How bad mm. off would we be? Let me ask you this simple little question. I know what your answer is going to be, but the the simple question is: If we banned every gun in this country, we'd be much better off. We really Why? would. It's right. just like weed. You know, when they say weed's going to be legal, oh, my God. Everybody's going to be stoned driving everywhere and crashing into everybody. Well, I think that people that smoke weed are killing well, brain let, cells. Let, anyway. let, let's not get into uh, that right uh, now. You know, the, the thing is, so you ban the guns. Do you think the bad guys are going to turn their guns in? Oh, uh, the bad so guys have tanks, do you right? Know, do you know that for years in England, the bad guys didn't carry guns? And you know why? Well, the cops didn't. The cops didn't either. Okay, no. so why don't we start de-escalating? San Francisco, they don't need a gun. They just walk in and take what they want and leave. Yes. Right. Smash and grab. They don't even use guns. And then they're they give them a needle. Up in San Jose now. Yeah, they give them a needle in the goodie starting bag. Starting in your neighborhood. Uh, Sacramento. Bad tanks, only bad guys will have tanks. Yes, that's true. You know, Sacramento. There's more <laughs> homeless. There's more homeless in Sacramento now than there is in San Francisco, uh, you know. And what's happening is, you know, people there's say they need where? something. Where? Sacramento. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Which is well, there uh, might be know. less jobs up there too. Well, they're they're they all work for the government. Or Newsom. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's the numbers. Hmm. As you're asking, you're asking. made up numbers by Phil. Well, uh, hey. Look it up. There's more homeless in San Francisco per capita than there are in Sacramento. Come on. So they, they, they had a poll, hypothetical 2024 matchups. Alex, yeah. this is what you're asking about the other day, and actually uh, Channel 2 had this. They say that if Newsom ran against Trump, and I don't know where they're getting these polls, but they said Newsom 40%. Uh, Trump was 39%. If he went against DeSantis, they'd be 39% for Newsom, 36% uh, DeSantis, and yeah, more than 20% undecided. So yeah. they are they are starting to look at those kind of numbers to see what, you know, I know they have been with his camp, but it's uh, funny now you're starting to see it come through. All these other people are checking polls to see how Newsom would do in 20 Is Newsom ready to be president, though, is the question, do you think? I don't think so. Well, I, I don't think I, I, again, we didn't ask you, Phil, because we know what your answer to that question <laughs> yeah. would be. I, I think I think he is. He, he knows how to run the state. I don't agree with some of his politics, but, you know, I think... I think well, I mean, certainly... Probably a lot better than Trump. Anything would be better than Trump. It's always been and said Biden. that gover governors are and the most... Biden, there uh, you go. The governors are the most well-trained people to take over as president because it's the same yes. it's the same kind of job except on a much larger scale you know um so yeah, so arnold schwarzenegger for president i i think uh, newsom got left with a very good situation because uh, brown i think was actually a good governor and when he was mayor of oakland he i thought he was great uh, you know uh, Jerry Brown, mm -hmm. and I think Jerry Brown really knew how to how to how to run things. I, I didn't agree with all his politics, but on the other hand, uh, he was very good at being an administrator. And you know, he had four terms. His father had uh, a number of terms. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, Ed, Edmund G. Mm -hmm. uh, Brown. Uh, so you know, that family had it was a dynasty of of, of being a governor's. And uh, I think Newsom took over something that was well put together and had a, a, a big uh, amount of money in the bank, you know, a, yeah. a, a surplus. Yeah. Yeah. Even if he's not ready, we're going to be in the same situation. We're going to have to vote for somebody who's going to beat Trump or beat whoever is on that side. And that's, how, that's why we did Biden, right? I mean, I, I, would, I was, you know, not 100 percent with him, but. You know, when it's you can see he can beat Trump, then you got to go all in, right? Do, do you feel, Brian, that Biden's uh, people sort of pulled the wool over everybody's eyes by keeping him in the basement during the campaign and not really uh, having him uh, answer no, questions? He was in the basement, Phil, because there was COVID. <laughs> Republicans in the basement. He was in the, he was in the basement because that's where most people were. 
some of them because they had COVID, okay? And the yeah. rest of the household didn't want to get cooties from them. Thank but God. Biden did wasn't hanging out in the... He was. He made a little studio there for him to work out of because, as you may remember, nobody was going out on making stump speeches during... No, no vaccines were available at that time, Phil. Yeah, thank, but thanks for Trump, there were. Hey, uh, oh... You know, uh, he's going to change the subject. Watch. Okay, I, w I was just going to say that that shooter from uh, 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 what's his uh, the the guy from uh, you block Illinois, his sound, Alex. Hmm? He actually went to uh, a, a temple uh, a couple of months ago and was uh, not allowed entrance. That's kind of what I do. It, he wasn't allowed entrance. Uh, you know, he might have wanted to shoot that temple up and was uh, doing reconnaissance. How often to, do you do that, Phil? Uh, the High Holy Days. Well, that's, twi that's twice a year, maybe. Yeah, but there's a lot of training that I have to well, do. Well, what happens all the rest of the times on fr Saturday nights when they're and Friday nights when they're going, uh, Friday, uh, there, there Friday are other and Saturday afternoons when they're going there, to shul? There are other people that participate I see. That are there you only want to do night. it for the big days. You only want to do it for the big days. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, if I if I was religious and and went to shul every Friday night, then I would be there. But I'm not Liar. religious, and Liar. I think I. Huh? huh? What do you mean? Liar. What the fuck is wrong with you? You know you know the truth. I I, I do. We we both are the same truth. We, neither one of us. I always hear right. about how he goes to these temples and he keeps yeah. helping them. And then I ask him, how often do you do it? And he says, only on the high holy days, of which there are only one actually that I can. And if he get, get, you know, if if get, get out of it, he will. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, they, if they assign, you don't us, go there for Purim. I, I bet you're not there for Purim. Uh, nope. Actually, the group was. Uh, but um, but, yeah, but you weren't it. there for porn because you were up at home eating hamantashen. <laughs> right. <laughs> Nobody and, knows and what we're talking about except the Jews out that's in the audience. That's the triangular uh, prune share thing. That... Yes, and why? Why? Why is it uh, uh, triangular? Uh, because on this night, oh, uh, I don't know you, why you, you lousy Jew. I'm terrible <laughs> yeah, Jew. Yeah, no. You ought to give me those business cards. And why is it called hamantashen? I don't know. Why is it? Okay, Alex? well, I don't here, know either. here's the reason. Because yeah. it is the story of Esther and how she saved Ooh. the life of people by prevailing upon this evil man named Haman Tosh. Uh, Haman, rather. Haman. Haman, who had a triangular hat. Oh. Okay. Uh. So they made the Humantashin to represent Haman's hat. Thank you. Oh. You you East Coast Jews can get you know got this down. Well, wait a minute, West East Coast, Coast Jews. I was born on the West Coast. He was born Coast. on the West Coast. Oh, Alex, right. you've got those business cards that say "Bad Jew." You yeah. you should yeah, hand them out to me and Alan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bad Jew, no gun. Actually, my yeah. picture my picture looks pretty good tonight, and I'm using the lousy camera. Why did I spend all this money for the good cameras? I can't I can't get the red out of my. I got to change my lighting. I can do that. Wait a minute, I got oh, red. God. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh. Put it back on. Yeah, look, look my, I'm, my face is red. And look at Charlie. Be... Charlie's brown. Mm-hmm. You got to adjust the red a little bit more. I don't know. I can't get mine done. Don't don't listen to me. He looks normal to me. I mean, Brian is normal. He's a little more red. Everybody's a little red, actually, except for Phil. But he's. it would take... Uh, a red camera in his face to turn him red. <clears throat> Let me see. I can probably so pasty white. Up, oh, that's better. You've done. You, you're you're better, Phil. Yeah. Well, maybe I turned. Uh, uh, let's see. Where is the red? Fucking oh. Zoom's got so much crap now. They got these apps things that they're throwing in your face. Mm hmm. Yeah. Apps. What do you mean apps? Well, there's something called apps now that they want you to download Zoom apps. Oh, well, don't do that. I'm not At least not that. while we're on the air. Okay. Yeah. Right. But Alan, uh, why don't you delete Zoom from your uh, computer? I could do that. What would happen? Here, I'll I'll get, uh, see you here. Here, you <laughs> <go>. <laughs> uh, well, Sorry. 
So is that from contrast? Yeah. No, it's brightness. It's uh, saturation. Oh. Okay. But I even, turned, even, but even I turn down the saturation, then I lose the green. So. One, one, of your, one of your viewers sends me a text message, Paul, and we won't use his last name. Anything is better than Trump. Well, you know what it's, what it's turning out to be? This is going to drive Phil crazy for me to say this. But it's, it's turning short, out that, sure. that, that Trump was really nuts, you know, real well, crazy. They're trying really, to make that hmm? point. They're trying to make that no, point. No, they've kind of made that point. Well, that's it, a kangaroo court. No, it's uh, not a kangaroo court. It didn't have to be full of Democrats because Republicans were invited, but they didn't come. Yeah, but the ones that uh, McConnell, uh, not McConnell, uh, yeah, uh, wanted to send they didn't want no that wasn't true that wasn't true they wanted to get the right amount of people there to kind of balance it off probably be one more democrat than republicans but uh, what they did was they just uh you know yes uh, charlie yeah i the, do uh, one, the a couple of the ones that uh they wanted to send were people that were involved with the january 6th riot like like uh what's his name that's the wrestling coach. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on his name. And uh, and 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 of course, Bober. Bober may end up going to jail now for what you did on January 6th. So. Yep. 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 I mean, uh, the fact of the matter is that that it looks like to me, and, and I I always believe this to be true anyway. But it looks like uh, our boy Trump was Looney Tunes especially towards the end. I mean, he was so obsessed with not winning the election that he wanted to take it by hook or crook. He was willing to overthrow this government to get it back. Yeah. You know, I mean, he was the Benedict Arnold of, uh, of uh, 2020? Uh, close to it. Close to it. Yeah. Glad you brought that up, Phil. Yeah, you made a good point there. <laughs> You're well, I'm not so red. Wait a minute, now turn your audio down, too loud. Alan. Yeah, now you're too loud. <laughs> turn your camera off, Alan. Uh, Alan, yeah, yeah because Jim you're... Jordan was allowed to be on the panel because that would be like having Charles Manson on the jury at the uh, Sharon Tate trial. Yeah, but he, Jim Jordan, would have protected uh, the other side of the story. And what, what, you know, what was wrong? What's wrong with Liz Cheney? I mean, she's more conservative than you are. Not yeah. anymore. Well, I'm not in this no, case. Yes, she is. I think she has yeah. a vendetta against Trump. She was said. jumping up and down for joy over the Roe v. Wade rescinding. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, she's, she's super conservative. My but audio better. Trump. Yes. The audio is better. Okay. Thank you. And now when you get on Jack's show, you'll be just fine. I forgot that I that Phil had me download something called Capture, and I can adjust the camera settings, which every time there's a Zoom update, it wipes out all the old camera settings. No, I told you to download web webcam or something that Alex told me about. What's it called? It's web. It's called uh, webcam. Yeah, it's called yeah, web, web, webcam, webcam about... settings. That, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it it works better than this the works capture. okay, but right now in time the next logitech. zoom update yeah. yeah captures your logitech software yeah so and, camera. yeah it's made by logitech this this uh capture yeah but the, the only problem with it is i have i have a better thing that i use that webcam settings is better you can do more things with it yeah you can do more things with i'll it. download it then i'll write it down and do it after the show yeah yeah uh, what happened was i kept sending away to Amazon for different webcams to see if I found one that would work and they all work terribly for some reason even a Logitech uh, their new uh, uh, what is it their, their new webcam whatever it is um, how come you don't use your GoPro because I don't it, I gotta hook it up and then I gotta somehow mount it and I gotta do a whole bunch of things like that and I, you know. I understand that they work really well as a, as a uh, webcam yeah well I'm I'm sure that wouldn't work either here so <laughs> you know I've given up I've given up I'm you know ah, 
So what did you guys do? Anybody do anything interesting over the 4th at all? Well, Jeff is still up in uh, up in uh, Cape, Cod. Cape Cod, right? Yeah. Lucky duck. I know. My, my own problem is my daughter went home because she had to go back to work. Oh, okay. And she fell at the in the house and smashed her head a little bit. Oh no. Yeah. Wow. I mean apparently she's gonna be this, fine is now. Is this when she got home, you say? Yeah, she went home because she had to oh. go to work. Yeah. And uh at home she just fell. I guess she tripped or something like that and and yeah. hit her head and if you didn't, if you don't, it didn't get a chance to see our July Fourth party that we had. Uh, family extravaganza. Yeah, she family extravaganza. Great. Yeah, Jeff was there. He had more children than you know, yeah. and, and grandchildren. grandchildren, and grandchildren. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And um, then we had, of course, uh, a family picnic with Brian. Yeah. You know, and his ninety-year-old what? Uh, what's her relation to you? That's Tiffany's grandmother, Adrian's great grandmother. I see. Wow. Adrian's great grandmother. Wow. Jeff Isn't should be him? proud. He has a very nice family, and uh, uh, so does Brian. Yeah. Yeah. They have four generations there. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. And right? then who else do we have that was out there? Somebody was down oh, in the vineyard. Mike, Mike Chisholm Mike had his dog run for a second. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, we had uh, um, uh, Len LaFrisco was in Napa. In the, in the vineyards water. and did his little stand up from the vineyards for a while and it was uh it was a very happy it was a real fourth of july show you're talking about monday it was a great day the yeah. monday show was a good show yeah it started out you were having a few problems if i remember well right. it, it, what it was is something that you know if half the problems i have usually has to do with getting zoom set up right and it was the audio for zoom that was looking at the wrong input I don't know how it went from the old input to a newer input because I didn't touch it for a week. But well, maybe Jack I did it. You know, maybe Jack's right. Yeah. You go to Skype. You know what it is? I probably have it in some way so it automatically updates it. Yeah. You know. So. Yeah, That's what probably time happened. Back to Skype. Zoom update. Yeah. I just looked here. It says delivered today, and it shows the camera that I ordered that was delivered today. And yeah. uh, it's already on its way back to Amazon. I already got my money back. Yeah. Somebody you know, in some, Amazon some... was nice enough to send me a shaver, some with blades and stuff. I got it in the mail like Saturday. What for free? I use that for free? Yeah, I, I I actually get junk from Amazon all the time that for free because I order so much crap from them. Yeah, you I... use somebody else's credit card. <laughs> <laughs> yours. I, I, did, I, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't. Uh, I don't get that kind of thing. You know. Yeah, really? Me either. Yeah. I don't get they that. send me stuff and then you rate it, and because it was oh, yeah. free, everybody rates it five stars and excuse the product. Really? I. I. They sent me a gallon of uh, of of, of Germex, but in the gallon uh, a week ago, and I thought, okay. Oh uh, yeah, you sent me some crappy coffee that uh, uh, <laughs> they had you taste, and it was a flavored coffee. And it was awful. No, I didn't. I never sent you any coffee. You lousy yes, you liar! <laughs> I wouldn't send you coffee. Yeah. You got no taste when he drinks McDonald's coffee every day. Oh, I like, I like McDonald's, McDonald's coffee. coffee. It's not bad. But uh, no, I drink Black Rifle coffee. That's Which would you know? I should send some to put some hair on your balls, Tony. I tell you, I just found my favorite coffee is a it's a, um, a what's this a creamer I Mine's use? Donut what's, shop. I have a creamer that I use that has no carbs in it and stuff, and they also make a coffee and it's a mocha, yeah. and I love it. It's just really tasty, really send me tasty. Some. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, Anybody I, have a Nespresso machine? No, because way. why should I have that? Because they cost so much. Yeah. You know, why should I do it? You know, and it's not going to make great espresso. I'm sorry. I yeah. mean, I'm Italian and I don't like espresso. My mother used to get make espresso it. in K cups now. You can make it over the stove. Well, they say it's espresso, but it's really not. It's just very, yeah. 
I've been brewing regular coffee at home and doing K cups at work, and uh, I've got one of those uh, drip things, you, the tank. You put the water in, and and you put the uh, coffee. they call them percolators. They call, no, it's not a percolator. It's it's a drip. Uh, it's a br- br- not Bravel. Um, it's the same one Rob Alfano has. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, who's Rob Alfano? Who cares, you know? Well, if it wasn't for Rob Alfano, you wouldn't have a voice in GabNet. Does my face look really red? I guess it does. No, I think it it, it looks fine. You look more natural than anybody on the show. Really? How about my lips? Your lips are a little red. I thought I think that's normal. Most people's lips, except probably Charlie, are a little red. You know what a lot of people are getting are... are, um, our uh, uh, super uh, got COVID, and uh, Marjorie asked him to come up next week and take our couches away because our new ones are coming, and he was going to do it today. And he said, "I can't come up. I got it again." Mm. There are a this lot of new people. variant, this five B or five A, five A five. The vaccine's not working against. It. Yeah, exactly, and that people are reinfecting. Uh, that well, no, it's wear working. Wear a mask. Wear a mask. No, it is working against it. It's just not working as effectively. Uh, well, but, it it keeps you out of the hospital and, and stuff. Well, like I sometimes. was mentioning to Marjorie, how many people are dying of COVID these days? Not Ask many. Charlie. Not many. There's 728 today. By the way, there were 228,000 new infections today. Yeah, well, if if this is not working against well, how many deaths? Five, how many deaths did you say there were, Charlie? Seven hundred and twenty-eight throughout the entire country. Yeah, for a whole country in one day. That's not bad. No, I mean that. Yeah, if you're not, not one of them, it's not bad. You divide that up among fifty states. That's what. That's about six. Uh, you know. Yeah. yeah Tif- Tiffany just had it, and then uh, <clears throat> Stephanie, our our fourteen-year-old, she got it. But they just had a cough, sore throat, that's it. No fever and nothing else. Lately, if everybody wore one of these. People uh, go go it. talk to your mother. Some nice person sent me a whole bunch of those. No, I yeah. agree. I agree with Alan. I think we've gotten a little too loosey goosey yeah. about this. Yep. I was just about the only one in the store with that mask on the other day. I wore and one. Have of you, are you the, COVID? You know, nope. Are you the kind of person that is alone in your car and wearing a mask? Well, you, you, know, you know, you know. I'll tell you why I wear why I wear them in stores. Yeah, why does it affect you, Phil? I wear. Yeah, Phil, what's the problem? I wear, hey, I haven't gotten COVID. I wear them in I stores. Wear Wait a minute, hold on a second. I wear them in stores for other people because I've had COVID and I may still have COVID to a certain extent, and I don't want to pass it to anybody else. So there that's you why go. that's why I wear a mask, <laughs> and I don't wear it so much to not get it myself, although it helps. You know, have you noticed that people are sniffling more and coughing, and that's some of the uh, reaction to this uh, five? What, what is it, Alan? Five one. BA five. BA five. Five. Uh, yeah, oh. the, the, the sniffling and the coughing, and uh, they don't yeah, have but people fevers. Get a, people get a cold and flu and other reasons, bronchitis. Yeah. It's not yeah. always COVID. Yeah, yeah. The they don't have fevers, <laughs> but that's some of the. Uh, some of the things with the BA5. Symptoms. Symptoms. Well, I wanted Marjorie to take, uh, take uh, she was doing, she wasn't feeling too well yesterday, and I wanted her to take a uh, um, COVID test, but she wouldn't, so. So you'll have COVID next week again. Well, you know, I mean, I'm feeling I'm weak kidding. still. I'm, I'm feeling kidding. weak I hope still. She, I hope she doesn't have COVID again. I mean, too. You know? Yeah. Well, no, I mean, is, is she... Everybody that I know, Phil, that wears masks religiously when they're out like me, I have not got COVID. You haven't got it. You wear a mask. I haven't got it. I, I haven't got gotten it. it. And I'll bet you wear a mask. When hey, you guys, public, don't, don't, you? don't brag, because we were bragging for the longest time, no, but we never a, got it. That's a good point. Yeah. You know, and we oh. and the only thing we did wrong is I was very sick and was rushed to the hospital by an ambulance, which yeah, by the way, brought- which by the way, for the 400, 500 bucks, I should have at least gotten a siren. Okay. Hey, have you gotten your bill yet from the, uh, from the uh, hospital? Just a few of them and they're not very much. Not that much? No. Well, I didn't get the bill. I mean, 
uh, like a rundown. The or moral, a, the moral of the story, Alex: Don't eat raw fish. Well, I I, I, I I love sushi myself, so it's I just had sushi the other night, so you know. Yep, it'd be hard for me to give it up. Well, he had so. the tartar thing. Uh, and it could have been cross contaminated. What it, is tartar? It's not it's cooked, tuna tartar. It's, it's raw. Well, it's raw tuna, right. but the way you usually eat tuna is raw. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's marinated. Yeah. Uh, not mean, always. Not always. No. A I, steak tartar. I, what I do is, is I go down to the. Uh, yeah, I go down to the, we have we have this fish, fish store. We have this fish store uh, mm -hmm. down the street. Beautiful fish store. Wonderful fish. And I go down and I'll get a couple of things of tuna. And bring them home and slice them thin, and we sit here and dip them in the soy sauce and some nice. wasabi, and that's yep. it. Sounds you know. great. Yep. Sounds Tuna great is the right. one fish you can eat raw, you know. So, uh, but uh, but that was I I you know so I went to the hospital, and that's where and Marjorie got it. I think from sitting in the waiting room. You know the interesting thing about this, like a cold, like a flu, you never really know where you got it. So. <laughs> Well, she all did. I know is oh, I came down with some kind of symptoms about two days later. So right, well, she gave it to me. Okay. Right, I, I got that. I got that. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that she got it in the hospital waiting for you. Margie's smart. Uh, no, she if we. If we probably was wearing a mask in there. No, yes, but that didn't mean that they still weren't going to be able to. You couldn't get it somehow, you know. I mean, just because you're wearing a mask, you know, these masks are not completely airtight. You're right. Especially and the we one. take them off to drink a cup of coffee or to get a snack, for, you know. Absolutely. And by the way, you know, the, the, the ones they give you in the hospital, they're the blue ones, which have a lot of space in here. Yeah. And they say yeah. that, you know, when people wear their mask with their nose still showing, they're asking to get COVID because it, it, if it, your nose isn't covered, you can catch COVID. If your nose is mm -hmm. covered, you won't. But if your mouth blows it out, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, I, it, it, you know, your mouth, uh, you breathe it in through your mouth, you're going to, you're going to get it. What? And why do Republicans get are, COVID? Because their mouth spell breathers. through your mouth. What? Yeah. Yeah. But there, you say that Republicans are mouth breathers. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, Alan. So uh, I'll say this again. I'm, I'm not a doctor, but. What the, with Fine. masks, masks are really meant to protect the other people unless they're an N95 mask. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And then they protect you up to 95% providing that they fit properly. I would never be able to get, these are N95s, but and they seal well, but not great. <clears throat> you know what I hate what about those? Is yeah. it stops your germs from going out into the air and somebody else catching it. Right. That's mainly but the what trouble. The trouble with the N95 is I don't like the double strap. They're also yeah. hard to breathe out of long term for hours mm -hmm. on end. Yeah. But that's the one doctors but, had to wear in hospitals. Well, that's yeah. these. Yeah. Somebody was nice enough to send Charlie some. Yeah. Just keep testing. Hmm? Yeah. Just keep testing. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm probably going to test myself another day or so. I do it every week. Yeah. Do it every day, please. Well, you're oh. you're in the midst of a little bit of a minor, uh, small uh, epidemic at your place. You know. Oh, did, you're talking about oh, Brian. Yeah. yeah, Brian, did, uh, did uh, Tiffany wear a mask around her grandmother? I hope so. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Everybody did. Yeah, she had one on all day, and then even they were outside. Yeah, everybody was very conscious about it. So. Yeah, that's that's. Hey, how, how do you get those home tests? Because I'm getting ready to go to my family reunion. I'd like to make sure I the didn't... post office, Charlie. Just post just go, go online. You can order them from the government. They get them to you in about within a week. Dot org. Dot gov. I'm sorry. Dot gov. gov. Well, they okay. said they. You know something? They said they sent me eight of them, but they only sent me four. Right. Maybe there's two, two in each, each in pack. each package. I know, but there wasn't eight of them total. There was four of them total. I got two packages. Did you have? Did you have two to a package? Mm-hmm. So you got four packages or two? No, packages? I got two packages. Oh. You can also order them on online. You can walk into a drugstore, Charlie, and buy them. They're like fifteen dollars a piece, you know. Oh, okay, but if you walk in and drop, okay, well, I'll go. fifteen bucks. My yes, insurance, CVS, CVS mm -hmm. has them, and yeah. they actually have a brand. 
that is better than the one we get from the government. It's it's called a Binox or something. Uh, I think I it? ordered them. Yeah, I bought those. Yeah, yeah. I've, I was told that those are better than uh, they're Abbott, and the other ones that you get from the government. I I think I don't. I was told they weren't as good. Yeah. 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 So that's not the Abbott ones. No, what do you th that's, the the that's the Costello. That's the Costello. That's the Costello. What uh, Brian, what do you think of those Abbott tests? They're, <clears throat> they're all the antigen tests? to me. Right. Uh, <laughs> Good point. You know what Same I think? Wait, me, right? wait, 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 you know what I think of the Abbott tests? This test? is the ones Brian uses, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I th think of the Abbott tests? <laughs> 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 That's my impression of Lou Costello seeing Dracula. Yeah, work, work made Tiffany go and take a PCR test, and then they made me go take a PCR test uh, when I came back from LA because the contact, even though I didn't have any symptoms, and then uh, I'm cleared, so I'm going to go to work tomorrow. Okay. I'm taking a test Monday because uh, I'm uh, doing a colonoscopy on Thursday. That uh, sounds like fun. Yeah. Well, isn't the colonoscopy a test? Uh, well, they don't want to test me when on the colonoscopy. So it's, the, it's a test test. It's for COVID. It's a test test. Yes, yeah, the pre-test. You know. We both, Phil and I both have Kaiser, and they usually request You know, for all they do to, like, do protect that, themselves man. that way, I went in the hospital, and we got COVID. The interesting <laughs> thing about Kaiser, I had a colonoscopy last year, and they required the same. You got to test negative. What about the doctors and nurses that are administering the colonoscopy? They don't go to get tested every day. How, how, are, they, how are they going to get the... How do you know they don't? Well, how, oh, well maybe they do now. How are they going to get it, Alan? How do you know? How do you know, bro? <laughs> I don't know. How, how are bro? they going to get COVID? Are you breathing out your <laughs> My ass? Son was They're probably buying the uh, Brian uh, uh, kit. The Rolls Brian Rice. Kits. Uh, uh, the Rolls Rice Alex kit. was talking, and we all talked over him. That's okay. It's, I'm used to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wednesday nights are like that. I don't know why. Only Wednesday nights. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder why. It, it was cute. Last Wednesday, Brian said, "Don't interrupt me." So what did I do? <laughs> I interrupt. <laughs> I almost said that again tonight just to get the rest of my story <laughs> off. Yeah. You interrupted him three times. Tony has hardly time. said anything tonight, which is, of course, a blessing because he's now I, he's now a Trump fan. Yeah, so Tony, what do you think of Biden? Oh. Uh, why do you look? You I'm so not. Much? I'm no f more fond of Biden than than you are. To neither be honest with you, and neither is about me. anybody else on this panel. Nope. But you know, I mean, the fact is, then you compare it to Trump, and I'm sorry, there's no no fight there. You know, right? Well, uh, more stuff will come out on Biden pretty soon. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! It's coming. Okay. You were going to be anti-negative towards oh, Biden. No. I'm not being note. negative towards Biden. I just said oh, more oh, stuff. Oh, oh, what, what's go, what's, go, what's going to come out? What's going to come out, no, Phil? No, it, it's a uh, teaser. The, it's, the it's, Hunter it's, Biden. Oh, oh the no, Hunter no, Biden. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Biden. going back to this you know, again. But Play the music. Remember, Play the music. You're like no, a bird. There's the music. There's the music. There's the music. There's the music. I'm not referring to the I can just. I can get rid of him. Yeah, I could get rid of his audio. I wish I had to be, was able to control everybody's audio individually, but I can't. You can if you do a mix minus. Yeah. No, not everybody individually, Phil. Not individually, but if you had a mix minus, you could he turn. He wanted individually. I can still turn you all down. Try, try talking, Phil. See what I mean? Anyway, everybody, thank you. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. Uh, Charlie, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, thank you, Tony, and thank you, Alan. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye. Goodbye. And I'll you tomorrow give... night? Yeah, probably. We'll, we'll wait and see. We'll see how I okay. feel. Uh, you know, this Don't thing let is just Phil know. so. Uh, <laughs> no, okay. But check in, will you? Just to check. I'll put it online. If I'm not going to do it, I'll put it on Facebook. Okay. okay, thank you. Want you. me to help you with the setup at all? No, no. No, I'll no, no. He has enough trouble. No, I might need him for a test or something oh. like that. You know. But uh, anyway, everybody wave goodbye, and I'll see you later, okay? And I think if you come to me, uh, I will look okay. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad for the cheap camera. 
well, maybe I'm, I'm obsessing over using the good cameras. Anyway, uh, thank you all for being with us, uh, everybody. Uh, Jack Bishop is next. He's, he wasn't here last night because he had another medical incident, but he'll tell you all about it, I'm sure. Meanwhile, uh, why don't you come back here again tomorrow night? If I'm here. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye.